Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the counterfeit scenario and my locals. Houston, pretty much every, I would say every week, there's a new posting for someone selling high proxy, high or very nice proxies. And they say, oh, the proxies are not original cards, but I want $150 for cards that probably cost them $5 as a set to buy. I've seen this also, I've seen people try to trade high quality proxies and their excuse is, oh, I received it as a gift, um, I got it from my boyfriend, and I've seen stores buy high quality proxies and resell them as high, pro high quality proxies. Now, I'm not going to name which stores, it's more than one, but I have talked to the tournament organizer, I have talked to the manager of the store, and even the owner of the store for one of them, saying, hey, I don't know if you should do this, but high quality proxies are just a way of life down here. And I've seen people trade this for, hey, I'm going to trade you $150 of high quality proxies for your real magic card. I'm going to be upfront with you. These are high quality proxies from China and all you have to do is double sleeve them. It's pretty bad. Uh, I would say most people have accepted them already and I, I was watching some YouTube videos. I think there's a general acceptance of them from the comment sections and from the people making the YouTube videos. And that's that. Uh, one of the reasons that I won't get into buying older cards, reserve list cards, is I don't want to deal with this scenario where I'm trading for something and I call them out and say, hey, you know, this is fake. Well, either the person knows it's fake and was trying to trick me and that creates an awkward scenario or and where you have to really call the person out, or the person doesn't know it's fake. And the excuses are quite easy. The excuse is, oh, I didn't take it out, I thought it was real, and it was double-sleeved, and I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't take it out of the inner sleeve. As you can see, all the fake cards I have ever come in contact with, the owners of the cards have double-sleeved them. And then when you take out one sleeve, you have to, the inner sleeve, the perfect sleeve, the perfect fit is harder to take out and sometimes you don't do that. I heavily advise you to take it out just because the feel of the card is really different. The feel of that fake card is different and I know people laugh about this, but smelling the card, it is very likely that the person orders the fake card from China or Canada or Brazil and then they immediately double sleeve them. So the smell, right? The smell of the card, which is not, it's a very plasticky smell. It kind of smells like um, if you opened a, a box of uh, those plastic containers and the plastic container's been in the heat for some time, that's kind of the smell of it, like a Tupperware. And if you left, left a brand new Tupperware in your car for a few hours in Texas, that's the smell of it. So it has been accepted to the point that people are selling them for $150 as high quality proxies and people are actually buying them. Now, what do these high quality proxies actually cost? Not that much, really, truly, truly not that much. You can see this person actually has five of mana drains. So it is highly likely that he bought five sets. They don't come in singletons, they come in sets. And each set, so he's probably kept some, he probably traded some, he probably sold some other ones. And it's uh, crazy that he wants $150 for cards that are, that cost the Chinese counterfeiter pretty much 10 cents, maybe 25 cents to print all of them. Again, you're printing small pieces of cardboard small pieces of cardboard let me repeat that again small pieces of cardboard 
So the situation in Houston is, in my opinion, completely out of control. And that's one of the reasons I don't trade for these cards. These cards are likely to be counterfeited time and time again because they are the most valuable cards. Why would someone counterfeit Liliana Death's Majesty? I think that's the card's name. When A, they have to get the foil stamp. B, they have to get the new file because they have these old files already. Thanks to Reddit, mostly. Uh, and 4chan, which gifted them the high-quality scans. Why would they do all that new work when they can sell a moat for 600 Right? It makes no sense. Why would they try to sell Liliana Death's Majesty, which took much more, much more uh, work in terms of getting the high-resolution file, in terms of getting the little sticker, when they can sell a any of these cards, I mean, just look at them. A bazaar for uh, five bucks, and then the person selling it can sell it for 150. People in Houston are very open. Uh, it's no longer, because the profit margins are still very high. So if you bought this for, let's assume that this person bought this particular set, single tens or as a, as a five, complete set and he was able to sell some, he was able to use, trade some on Puka Trade, he was able to um, trade some to a store. I just don't trust it anymore because it's very, I think it's very accepted. Uh, you have YouTubers who are, I don't want to say promoting it necessarily, but they're saying, hey, these are out there and they're very high quality. So people like that type of stuff. They like not paying so, I mean, if you look at these cards right now, if they were real, we're talking about, I don't know, several thousands, at least four thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollars cards. Well, this guy is selling it you to one at one fifty. What he didn't tell you is he probably bought it for five dollars, right? So he doesn't need to be greedy, right? He does not need to be greedy because he's going to sell more of these at 150 than he can sell them at, the, you know, trying to pretend that they're real, which would be put him under scrutiny. So the loophole a lot of these people have found is they just say, hey, upfront, high quality proxy, 150 bucks, and they make it like you see how it's not a playset or it's not like five of each. It's because he doesn't have five of them. He began with five of each, and then he probably sold or traded. I, and the fact is, I mean, they're double-sleeved. Some of them are hard cases. The card's worth like five cents. It costs five cents to print a fake card. But he treats it like a real card, and I'm sure this guy does thousands of dollars. I've seen his ads everywhere. I'm positive this dude does thousands and thousands of dollars of selling and trading high proxy, high quality proxies. There, there's a market for it apparently. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Bye guys.